we could we could talk a little bit more Marvel, more like a, a hybrid of of Marvel's um, current MCU and what is being hinted at. At least at least the context that I'm taking it is a hint to that to the first step towards introducing the mutants into the MCU. Now, mm-hmm. me and you were talking about this quote before that Kevin mm-hmm. Feige said, where Deadline asked him about whether or not the introduction of Monica Rambeau in WandaVision would be um, seen as one of the first steps toward introducing mutants into the MCU. Mm -hmm. And I think the way that he phrased it was like, oh, you know, five years from now, when we're looking back, uh, we're going to find a whole bunch of stuff was leading up to the introduction of mutants into the MCU. Mm -hmm. I'm Mm -hmm. saying, like, this is, like, the first confirmed step in... That in itself is a lot of excitement. That means they're actively working towards bringing the mutants like sooner rather than later. I mean, they've always said that, they, first of all, they had plans for everything a long time ago, right? So what was it? Iron Man, the mm-hmm. deleted scene with Sam Jackson, Nick Fury. Mm-hmm. They was already talking about Spider-Man back then. Mm-hmm. You know, um, what was it? I think it was Thor... One or Thor two, I think it was Thor two, in a deleted scene in Thor two, they was already talking about sword, you know, the counter to shield. Yeah, I don't remember um, that. No, it, it's it's a deleted scene nobody pays attention to, but okay. they had been thinking about sword that long ago, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, the idea of mutants is nothing new to them. I mean, keep in mind, Kevin Feige, like, really got his feet wet with X-Men. Not know? Spider-Man? I think it was Spider-Man 3, but I'm just saying he got real, he got more experience with more. The X-Men. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, more input and stuff. He grew as a producer at that point mm-hmm. um, with the X-Men. So he's the, the X-Men and mutants have always been, you know, a cornerstone for him. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not hard. What he said to me didn't mean much because it's not hard to do what he was talking about. You could literally go back. First of all, we've already seen the MCU do this, right? We've seen them go back in time and kind of like retro, you know, activate stuff. Yeah, retroactive you know, continuity. They just yeah, inject you know, stuff into the past. They just retcon stuff from the past or whatever and just be like, oh, by the way, Captain Marvel always existed. We just didn't know about it. How convenient. <laughs> you this know, is how Nick Fury lost his eye. <laughs> right. You know, so to me, I'm just like, yeah, when he said that, I was like, that just meant not that they've always been planning for it, but that they've left so many gaps open. They could go back and fill in whatever they want I'm and it you. would explain stuff. I'm with you. Know you know what I'm saying? But so, my but, thing but is I that don't, I, I just don't think Monica Rambeau specifically is a launching point for anything. I don't think she. I, I don't personally think she is. I just think that, in general, the MCU is so intentionally left open in different areas. Mm-hmm. Any you you can you can come up with four to five different ways to introduce mutants logically within the MCU, and mm-hmm. and it would make total sense. I mean, just a quick one. You could do the multiverse thing. That's the easiest thing, right? Oh, I'm just talking about straight up the, you know, coming out of those announcements, certain things were not formally announced. They Mm -hmm. came out and straight up said, we're making a Fantastic Four movie. Here's the director, right? That's the one of the Fox properties they picked up. They didn't say anything about the one that was actually successful. If you had to choose between the Fantastic Four Fox movies and the X-Men Fox movies, which one are you going to develop first? I mean, I, I mean... it makes well, me they, feel... he did say what was it? It wasn't the was it the D twenty three? He did say mutants are coming. He said they that, are, like, they are. But he year. did. I mean, but like to hear that they're actually actively doing something, right? Like it's not just like all right, we're still figuring it out. It's like you know, we we have a plan in place, and these are the steps that are yeah. leading to it. But what does that mean though? Because you also have to take in consideration that everything that's happening right now, mm-hmm. like phase four right that we're currently in Mm -hmm. they planned that five years ago yeah yeah phase four was happening when civil war was hitting us for the first time fox deal how many many years has it been now since the fox deal the fox deal i want to say was 2017 or 20 it was around infinity war march of 2019 
2019. Dang. Okay. It hasn't awesome. even been two years yet. It hasn't been two years yet. So even if, even let's just say if they had a year's notice inside info that they were going to do that, they mm-hmm. still were planning to. G- we're not going to see anything mutant related, in my opinion, unless they literally go back and start retconning stuff now. Um, because a lot of stuff that's coming out now to us, like Eternals, um, you know, uh, what else is coming out? Some of the, you know, Disney shows, Black Widow, like Black Widow is going to have no mutant stuff. No, no, no Black Widow, but they have time to um, do something in Captain America and Winter Soldier. There was rumors about Omega Red. Nah, I doubt even they go that far. But I would just say that we shouldn't expect to see anything mutant related until at least 2023. I'm hoping for something this year. That will not happen. In one of these Disney shows, some I sort would, of I, I, would, egg. I would bet money that would not happen. How many shows are coming out this year? You got WandaVision coming out Friday. Yep. Falcon and Winter Soldier. It's in March. I think they just got done with Loki. All right. And then they also... Got done with that. And now they're starting production on Ms. Marvel... They're starting production, I want to say, tomorrow. So give that, like, another six to eight months. That's a prime opportunity there. Maybe. Was she considered a a mutant? No, she's an inhuman. Right, she's an inhuman, yeah. That's a prime opportunity right there. I don't know if they're going to go back. Are they going to revisit inhumans in some way, shape, or form? I've never watched inhumans. (laughs) <laughs> I, you know, I, the closest I got to Inhumans was besides the cancel. I didn't even watch the canceled show, but um, closest I got was Agents of Shield. But that's not in continuity anymore. So I don't it know never how they was. Yeah, it, it almost was almost, when they yeah. had Sam Jackson in there for the first, you know, for that Since first uh, season. Yeah, it, it kind of was, but then they went into the whole other realm. Uh, so, yeah, technically, I guess it's not, because it exists, like, in a different alternate timeline or something. Maybe we'll visit so it. So they, the they, they might bring him back. Huh? Maybe we'll visit it in the Multiverse of Madness, right? right. Maybe they'll no. bring back Phil Coulson that They way. might. No, they, they legit... I mean, they've already done time-hopping and stuff in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Why not? But, yeah, I, I, I don't think that we can um, bank on any Hawkeye, is this, no, Hawkeye is next year. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Personally, like I do have a theory that um, the Eternals is probably the best foundation. Not saying they're going to pop up in the Eternals, mm-hmm. but the best foundation for the reasoning of mutants. Because that does go back to the comics. That is kind of like how they were created. But I do think that, um, you know, whatever experiments the Celestials did on human beings or whatever, um, I think that'll be the best foundation for us to start, uh, for for Marvel to be like, this is where it began, but in like another movie, they'll be like, but this is where they got activated. This is where they, you know, became real. I hope they go with the man-made mutants idea. And instead, where they continue to draw inspiration from the Ultimate Universe, I, I remember I recommended you read this because um, I mean they technically the, did that in the Ultimate Universe. Logan was Wolverine was the first mutant as a um, in an effort to recreate the Super Soldier, and once they were able to I don't know somehow give him his powers, it was somehow then manifested in people all across the world. I don't remember it from beginning to end, how they were able to spread it from Logan to other people, but I do remember he was the first mutant, he developed a healing factor, and then he was able to go on with a lot of the same stories that we know. But tying it into the um, super soldier formula ties right into what they're doing in Falcon and Winter Soldier, if there's any rumors about Omega Red, or any of that stuff, it, it, it to me seems like an easy way to introduce them without having to go multiverse hopping. Uh, I think um, an easy, yeah. First of all, multiverse is actually the easiest and probably the <laughs> laziest way to do it, right? Yeah. Um, but like I said, that there are three different ways right there, right? 
You could do the multiverse. Hey, they live in the world. Boom, here they are. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You could go your route because that is very similar to Von Strucker. You know, mm-hmm. what he did with Quicksilver and with, uh, you know, with Scar- uh, Wanda. Like, they used the Mind Stone, you know, according to the Wakanda files, they used the radiation from the Mind Stone to create, essentially, what we believe are mutants, you know, or miracles. Um, so, you know, to me, that's kind of something that's a little more plausible because... They've literally already done it. <laughs> they just have Infinity Stones. I'm just saying they haven't classified them as such yet. But I, you know, but then a third thing to me is kind of like, well, you could go to the Eternals, say that you know there's something locked, that X gene is locked in all of us, and something triggers the X gene or had triggered the X gene. Maybe it happened in the past, and we don't know that. Um, and they've always been around. You can explain it in many different ways. That's what I'm saying. Like, Marvel has so many gaps and holes. Anything is possible. Absolutely. So Foggy was right, but he was not literal either. He was just kind of like, yeah, we can go back to anything and start <laughs> off. <laughs> anything can be a start this off point. Is, I'm, I'm going to be in the team that believes this is the first step. This is this is the first inkling we'll see of something that five years from now we're gonna be like, yep, she was the first one. You think Monica would be? She wasn't even no, the no, first. not the first mutant, but like the first step or the first, you know, I don't even know building what that means. domino in the process. I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. That's fine, right? Back because she's not even back, a mutant. Back when we saw um um Sam Jackson for the first time, we knew it was leading to the Avengers. I'm saying this is going to be uh, the first precursor that we not just don't know is going to domino into the X Men at some point. I got you. I got you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, the, I'm, I hope they retire the Infinity Stones. That's all I'm going to say about that. They already blown, I, blew them up. I, I want to see no more heroes, no more mutants, no more nothing, no more power. Leave the Infinity Stones. In the, I'm good with a cosmic cube at this point. Bring me Galactus, some cosmic rays, a cube, whatever else. Just don't bring back nothing with the Infinity Stones. I mean, they blew them up. It, they're done. Good. They... Te- Technically, they still I only, exist. I only mention that because you use like mutant infinity stone or I'm just saying that's what they use. That that's what they did. But you know, the stones cause Thanos destroyed them, but I think it was the Russo brothers or somebody that was like, you know, even though they're destroyed, they still exist. Right. They still use them. They undid the snap. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, even th- because the ones they used, they put them back in the correct timelines. Right. But the present day ones, I'm with the, you. You know, Thanos destroyed them, but I'm they still you. exist. I'm with you. They yeah. still somewhat exist. Um, they're like on a molecular level. Like they're not they, gems. They just leave the door open for them to be able to yeah. have an option to bring them back if they need them. Yes. 